What's up, you guys? Shardimus Prime here, Toy Fair 2014 in New York City with the one, the only, the Jesse Falcon. How are you doing today, sir? Good, Russell. How are you doing, buddy? I'm doing great. What'd Thank you. you. What did you think of the line so far today? Today? Yeah. I'm very excited. I, I geeked out like crazy over the Nova figure in particular. <laughs> and you're asking me questions already. You're sure taking not. over the interview. Sure I'm just I'm just curious because this is a, like I haven't seen this stuff either. So, I, you know, for me to see it at this stage, I've seen a lot of uh, uh, pre-production stuff, but I've never seen it at this stage. So. I think I'm as excited as you are to see a lot of this stuff. So, okay, so you created the line. Am I right about that? Yeah, back in uh, back with Toybiz. Okay, I gotta say, thank you. Uh, you doing that changed my life a little bit. Uh, I really love Marvel Legends, and you made up Marvel Legends, and I want to say thank you so much. Hey, I mean, I, it's my pleasure. I, I, I'm so it, you can't imagine how much uh, uh, satisfaction comes from uh, having this line still exist. You know, Hasbro has been a, you know, an incredible toy company. They've been around for such a long time. Uh, but, you know, it's not often that they, they will acquire a line from another company and, and you know, really, really build it out in the way that they have here uh, with Legends. So it's, it's just really great to see uh, that happen. And, and uh, the reaction from everybody today uh, on the line and this, this week from the Guardians piece, it's great. Are you proud? Oh, like, you know, I can't, like, like more proud than I can put into words. Wow. So what things are happening with Hasbro and the way they're handling the line that you didn't necessarily see when Toy Biz was running the line that make you happy? Well, no, it's very different. You know, the landscape in, you know, what, 2014, uh, you know, even back to 2006 when we were doing the, the kind of the last thing that we were doing at Toy Biz, mm -hmm. the, the, the landscape for manufacturing has changed night and day uh, and and it's been very very you know difficult to get the kind of quality and deco and articulation that you can get for for the same price as you could get for six years ago so um, Dwight and Adam and uh, Lauren and uh, Michelino Polino have all worked very very hard on all the Marvel brands uh, to really deliver a great quality product at a great price and 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 you know my all of our hats are off to them to be able to deliver this stuff uh, in the way that they have because it's not been easy it's been a lot of challenges so you're saying quality Quality control is basically where you're not, seeing a big difference. Like the no, it's not quality control. It's it's uh, it's really uh, the the costing in in the Far East has uh, gone up, and it's because the the rules in China have changed about labor. Mm -hmm. um, so it makes it a lot more expensive to live to deliver the same product today. Uh, as you could, you know, 10 years ago for that same price. But the Hasbro team has worked very hard, and they, they've done a great job at uh, innovating in the line and uh, and really delivering on the promise that the Marvel brand brings with excitement, fun, and adventure. Uh, for anybody that's been following the Marvel Legends line for the past, well, what? How long has it been around now? Over like about 15 years now. 2002. Okay. I mean, so, 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 not yet 15. So, not quite 13 years. Okay. So, for those of you who've been watching that, and especially since Hasbro had taken over the line, you can see an improvement. You know, the company has been trying. You know, right away we had some hiccups, and things. For instance, the Nova figure. The Nova figure that we saw released today, leaps and bounds better than the Nova figure that we received in the Nemesis wave. So, people working very hard. Absolutely. I'm curious to know what your involvement was in that process. Uh, I, I, you know, at, at every step I'm working with Dwight and, uh, like, Dwight really manages this, this, the Legends line. Uh, and at every step, uh, you know, you know, we, we look at what's being developed, both from a conceptual standpoint, uh, even from an you know, overarching standpoint. Like this year, for example, okay. Legends changed uh, from just delivering something every quarter and it being kind of a you know, Marvel branded, you get everything in the Marvel Universe in, in every assortment. Yeah. We changed that and we focused it around the film. So with Captain America, the line over there, it's really dedicated, half of the line is theatrically based and the other half is based around uh, the classic version of Captain America uh, and some of those characters. It's still going to build a figure across the board. We did the same thing with Guardians, we did the same thing with Spider-Man. Um, and I think that's working really, really well. If you look at the sales numbers, it's working fantastically well which is, you know, at the end of the day, what we want to have because we want to continue to make the line. You know how hard it is to find these figures? That's, that's the best news in the world. It's really, really I, hard. I know it's frustrating, but it's for, for, for the health of the line, that's a great thing. It's yeah. a really great thing. Well, I mean, just so you know, like my relationship with my fiance is getting a little ruined over here because you know we had a night where we were supposed to go out to a nice dinner and, sure, and see a movie. Day? No, okay. I left to come over here on Valentine's got, got Day, it. so that's another thing well, that you screwed me up two with. Strikes. Two okay, strikes. yeah, yeah, okay. yeah. All right. All right, and then so she's very mad at you. No, no, and uh, no, but you know we have plans to go do something. Get word, hey. 
the new Marvel Legends are coming out, man. You got to do it. As a collector, I have to go hunt them down, you know? So, um, as do you think there's a strange balance or a very delicate balance in how many of the figures are actually being released to how much end up getting stuck on the shelves? I mean... You want to release a certain amount where everything gets sold, but sure. at the same time, you don't want a shelf warming. We kind of saw that a little bit with the Ironmonger wave, where a lot of the figures had gotten, were, were still on the shelves for a long time. But then at the same time, like we have these new legends right here that are just disappearing, like, you know, yeah, r right different. away. And I have a feeling that that has to do with the distribution side of things. So is there, um, what kind of changes are being made on the distribution side overall? I don't know that, that it is a distribution thing. It may be maybe character fatigue. It may be, uh, you know, maybe in an, a year where there's so much Iron Man, like people were like, well, oh, maybe I wanted something else other than Iron Man. That could be one thing. Um, <clears throat> but it could be, I'm, I'm saying that it wouldn't necessarily just be one thing. Um, uh, and, and when it comes down to distribution, this is always an issue that we struggled with with Toy Biz because of the way that our business was set up. And when you talk about peg warming, you know, it's, it's a hot and cold issue because I remember the very first wave of Legends, our big peg warmer was Toad. I went into Toys R Us in Times Square and literally there was a wall of Toads and I was like, oh man, these other three figures sold so well. We had this Toad figure that we weren't able to release in our regular line. We're like, we'll just put him in here because he's six inch scale. And cut to today, that Toad figure is now going for tons of money on the second-hand market. Yes. Now, we don't make stuff for the second-hand market. You know, we make stuff for the first-hand market. So when it comes down to, let me just address the peg warmer part of it, it's, 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 all, it's all very subjective, and you almost never know what, what's going to happen, especially with, like, new waves. But, you know, we've been very lucky this year. I think everything was delivered, um, you know, you know whether, whether you were into the character or not, mm -hmm. you know, you wanted to get it because of the Build-A-Figure component, which, yes. which is why that, that's still so important to that line. Yes, yeah. Now, um, a little off topic, as you sure, said, I'll, you create your girlfriend and I'll apologize. <laughs> okay, thank Hold you. On. We'll, we'll do that. We'll do that. <laughs> now, um, a lot of other toy lines have mimicked Marvel Legends, and again, brown nosing a little bit. I'm a huge fan of Marvel Legends, so let me be a fan, all right? But I mean, we get uh, what we have the Star Wars Black series. Love that. Um, I've seen, uh, I think, Jack Pacific, uh, uh, Mattel, a lot of other, and I said some words I probably shouldn't say over here, right? But the thing is, is that everybody else has been copying this six inch, highly articulated, highly detailed, highly sculpted figure. Uh, and it's kind of like everybody's trying to do it for everything. I mean, it, that hasn't really happened since Marvel Legends first hit the shelves. How does that make you feel? Oh, it's great. It's awesome. <laughs> uh, you know, uh, you know, it's it's, you know, uh, the, there's a lot of really cool formats out in the toy uh, world. And when we started to tinker around with this line, you know, we, we were looking at Dragon. You know, I don't know if you know Dragon. The yeah, they're super articulated ones. like Hot Toys, but yeah, exactly. older. Exactly, yeah. exactly. And we were like, you know, we were like, I bet you can probably do all of this at six inches. And we did a test, and it was like, yeah, this. This really works, and, we should, and it would really work well for Spider-Man. So that's when that happened. But um, to see that form factor um, incorporated other places is 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 the highest form of uh, compliment. It's great. It's fantastic. Excellent. Uh, you know, I love that form factor, so I can go buy all the other IPs. Yeah. Out there and yeah. have them intermingle. That's what I mean. Yeah. That's what exactly what I want. Like as soon as Marvel Legends had hit the shelves, I I would buy any figure that was in a six-inch highly articulated sure, sure. form. I just wanted everything like that. Yeah, now, last question: What would you like to see in the future of Marvel Legends? Oh, that's a great question, and I don't know if I can really answer that question without know, giving I'm, too much stuff. I'm to trying to make it general, no, no, so... General? Uh, boy. I, I'm, I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to pull a Hasbro and say stay tuned. Oh, gosh. <laughs> Damn, it hurts. Jeez, I'm sorry, man. Buddy. I'm sorry. Uh, thank you so much, yeah, Jesse. Of course, Russell. Thank you. Yeah, yeah. all right. <laughs> <laughs>